Hello and welcome to my video on which one of the summer sets is the best value. So I'll look through all the summer sets and give you my opinion on their value and a bit about the set anyway. And if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe because I'll be doing more like this in the future. So, starting off with the worst value Imperial Light Cruiser. 13,036 pieces, £150, $160 slash euros. And it is a massive set and I can't take that away from it. But it does have a lot of features, but that's what to be expected in their couple where they're missing. For example, a bit like there's a bit of an area behind the cockpit where they could have added a nice extra section. Or at the very back of the ship, there's like three perfect opportunities for escape pods that they didn't add in. But anyway, it is a massive set and I won't take that away from it. And it is quite detailed. There are a few mistakes. But just, it's not... The value isn't really there for £150. Also, that piece count's a bit low, not extremely low. But then, the minifigures, some of them are really good. The Dark Trooper and Fennec, brilliant. But the rest of them, they just don't redeem the set enough. They don't bring it back up enough to be worth the value. And when you think about it, you can buy all these sets and still have a bit of money left for the same price. And that's in pounds believe it might it's roughly the same in dollars slash euros but yeah just the fact that you can buy roughly half of the wave for the same price and those are really much better value sets it just doesn't really add up in terms of value although that's something you normally consider with a set this price you kind of do anyway in next place we have Darth Vader's meditation chamber for £60 or $70 slash euros and 663 pieces. Peace coin's not bad, but when you think about what the set is, and that is just a display set with two reasonable minifigures, not great, but when you just think about it, it's not actually that good value because it's maybe a desk thing, but would you really want to be paying $70 for something you put on your desk? That's just kind of what my opinion is. There are also nicer sets for display, in my opinion, out of this wave. And that's only this wave that's not actually looking at anything else. But it's just a display set. Nice display set, not a good value display set. And although some of these sets are very nice, they're just not the right value. Their price is just a bit more for what you'd expect. Next, we have the Jill or Mandalore of 147 pieces which is £18 or $20, and the piece count's just a bit low. And to be honest, what they've done is nice, it's just there's not much of it. It's just really, it's quite a small set if you think about it. It's literally a throne, really not like a massive throne, but it does have a back wall. It's just, it's a really nice set, and the minifigures are very good, but... It's not much of a set, even if you look at previous duels. Duel on Mustafar had a nice big bit of scenery, and that one was also roughly the same price. I think it was slightly more, but also had a bunch more pieces, as did Starkiller Base. This one just doesn't have that, so that's why it's quite far down. Um, but also, like, the set, the Summer Wave is really, really good. It's just some are better than others in terms of value. And so, now on to the Imperial Armoured Marauder. £35, $40, 40 euros. And I think, so, I don't like this set that much. Completely honest, not a big fan, but I don't think, I think that's more of just me. Like, my in-depth video is over 100 views, which is pretty rare for me. But anyway, it is, like, it's just dark grey and it just looks kind of old and like a child built it kind of idea. And it just doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look like it's a final draft. If they'd done, like I say it was a draft, alright. But then had they maybe done it again and improved it. There's also a bit of tan bricks. And you may think it's mud on the bottom. They're also on the top of the set. It's just slightly ridiculous. Also another thing is... The back cannon doesn't spin 360 degrees. 
and that's just because now you are put it in piece specifically not to do it but I can't think of any reason why that would be a problem so yeah that one's just not really I don't like the set that much so that is why I ranked it quite low Merely pretty decent piece count for the price but I just don't like the set since it's my list I can put it as far down as I want Next, £330, £350, £350, Euros, UCS Republic Gunship. 3,292 pieces, pretty big amount on piece. Massive as it is, some things aren't great, particularly the minifigures. Not even an image of the clone lieutenant, zero. No one that's actually specifically of him. So this is from Solid Break Studios video and Mace Windu. Pretty terrible. Just they're not the worst minifigures, it's just the UCS gunship and then they go just tried to justify it and then that was just a whole mess. But anyway, it is massive. The pieces are massive. I just don't see it as good as value as the ones that are coming up next. And the thing that I also find hard to do is some of the pieces look like they're a different scale. So the Republic loader, you think that would be a 2x2, two two, it's 3x3. Three three. Those bald hurts maybe look like a 6x6 six six or 8x8. Eight eight. And there's just, I think it's really hard to grasp the scale of this vehicle, vehicle because there's a lot of pieces that you think are like the smaller versions. And that's also why, so this may not be a fair one, but I don't know. I don't own the set, so... I just don't think it's really big set and that's why there should be a few less mistakes because there are just a few things that slightly annoy me, especially the turrets. Just don't really like them. Anyway, next is the Bad Bat Attack Shuttle with 969 pieces and it has 90 pounds, 100 dollars slash euros and it's pretty good. It is quite a good set. Original criticism was why is it sound blue? But I think, right, my reasoning for that, and I was going to do a video on it, but I don't think I will, is because in the badge bat, it seems to be like the paint is dark grey, but the ship is actually light blue. And I think that's quite good, but also I think the actual reason is because Legos were probably sent preliminary images where it wasn't rendered, and then the clone was pre-rendered, it was this colour. So that's just my opinion. Because why would they go out of the way to make it this colour? Because it would mean they'd have to make a lot more pieces in this colour, whereas most of them would already be in the dark grey. So I think that's something that goes definitely out on purpose. But it does come with two speeder bikes and six minifigures, five of the Bad Batch and the Gong Droid. The Gong Droid at the time wasn't really a good inclusion, but now you see it is part of the show, so not as bad as you might expect. But yeah, it is a massive set, pretty cool. One thing is, I don't really like the scale of the wings, but that's just something with the ship. But yeah, really good set. Also fits all the Bad Batch. I don't think it includes the Gong Droid as well, but still, slightly pretty good set. Anyway, next, well yeah, next is the point that it, reason why it's low is because look at it, these two sets, which I really like, you can buy for slightly cheaper and that's something I kind of feel like should maybe be like, you know, that's £95, this is 90 these two are probably better. So that's why it's a good set, but when you end up comparing it, it just kind of knocks it down slightly. So next we have the Armour's Mandalorian Forge. Don't know why they gave it such a long title, it's pretty annoying. And it is £28.30. 30 euros and well it is pretty cool I do like some things about it and the minifigures are really good so you've got the Mandalorian slightly different with the jetpack that is a nice thing that they did and then you've got your armor and the Paz Vizsla and they're all really good minifigures so onto the set I do like some things so the details are all there and it is pretty cool. I really like the unmarked Mandalorian helmet. I don't know why. It just really looks quite cool. And there's no like printing on the Beskar. But they are still good. I think you maybe get two or three of them with the set. Not sure precisely how many. But anyway. Next in second place. We have 
593 pieces, 75312 Boba Fett Starship, or the Slave One, I'll be calling it the Slave One. 45 pounds, 50 dollars, 50 euros. And the minifigures are brilliant. Look at the so the Boba Fett minifigure is really good. It has excellent arm printing with like the yellow, the orange, and the skull, and it's all really good. And I like the way it's not damaged, it just looks like a really clean minifigure. And then the Mandalorian, pretty good, seen before, but you'd be buying it for the Boba Fett out of the minifigures. And then the set itself is pretty cool. Um, My one problem with it is, I think I'll do a video on this, is although it's scaled down, it is scaled down too much to be in scale with the other sets that are scaled down. That may sound slightly confusing, but basically this ship is smaller than it would be in universe if you put it compared to the X-Wing. And it's like a similar size to the recent Lego set, but in universe it's much bigger. So that's my main criticism, but you also get like a in Carbonite Gamori in the middle. It's not brilliant, it's just a sticker or printed, I'm not sure which. Anyway, pretty nice set. In first place, Mandalorian Starfighter, four hundred uh, no, five hundred and forty-four pieces, fifty pounds sixty dollars plus sixty euros. Ridiculously good. It is such a nice set. I don't know of any really flaws and I just like the set a lot. It's really good. I'm not sure I can't remember the name of the precise set. It is based off there is a specific ship. And I'll maybe do another video on that. But the minifigures are brilliant. It has Bo-Katan. And that is the, I believe, the first Bo-Katan we've had in Lego Mandalorian Loyalist. Which is actually a really good minifigure. Like, I ranked, so, I believe I ranked Gar Saxon 1 and the Boob and Bo-Katan 3rd. And Mandalorian Loyalist 4th in my, like, ranking all of these minifigures. And if you want to watch that video, it will be linked in the description, as will my in-depth videos. Well, actually, it'll be the playlist, which will have all of these sets in-depths on them. But anyway, minifigures are really good. And the set is brilliant. So, two stud shooters, two, two spring load shooters, but they're not extremely, like, noticeable. They're nicely hidden. And that's just really, really cool. Anyway, do hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.